Hi everybody, I'm Kim Vanderhoek. And I'm Jill Basham. And we are working on something exciting together. We have a two-person show at Principal Gallery in Alexandria, Virginia in September. And Jill and I are independently working on uh, 10 paintings that are large a piece for the show and 10 small paintings. But we came up with this really cool idea for another project to add to this for the show. Why don't you yeah. tell everyone what well, we're working on? We thought it might be interesting to see what happens when we combine our styles onto into one painting and what happens with that. Kim has been kind enough to let me start this painting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the, the challenge is we both live on opposite ends of the country. Jill's in Maryland and I'm in California. So we thought we would do, we had, one of us would start and then ship the painting to the other person to finish and try and integrate the other's style. everybody, this is Jill in Maryland. I wanted to share the initial block-in of the painting that Kim and I are working on together. Um, she hasn't touched it yet, but uh, she is going to have the last go at it in California. So I'm going to continue on with this a bit further and then let it dry. And then I'll be packing it up and shipping it out to the West Coast. I can't wait to see what she's going to make of this painting. Hi guys, um, I'm Kim Vanderhoek, and if you've been following along with my girl Jill Basham, then you know about our joint painting project. And she just sent the painting to me. Let's unbox it, okay? See what we got. Oh, yeah, <laughs> look at that, you guys. Check it out. That is so cool. Oh, I hope you guys can see it. That's awesome, really awesome. So it's now gonna be my turn to work on this one. Uh, man, I hope I don't totally obliterate all the beautiful, subtle work that Jill has going on in this. I thought I'd zoom in so you guys could see some of the detail that I was working on in this painting. It was a bit hard to see in the time lapse, but this has been hard, you guys. Um, you know, Jill did such a beautiful underpainting. Um, you can see all the blue and the, some of the violets and even this dry, dark area. 
that's all her start and I've left the sky alone I kind of want to leave it like that I really like I don't know, I really like the variety of textures and the color up there. Uh, but it's really hard not to just like try to completely take over this entire <laughs> painting with my style and obliterate everything Jill said. Um, man, this little guy will not come into focus, but there you go, there's some thick paint on there. Um, you know, I'm trying to leave like this water area alone with the beautiful colors and the brushwork in there. I think this bridge on this side is pretty well done. Um, I'm going to take a look again tomorrow. The car going by, but um, yeah, this has been hard. It's really, really hard not to just like take over the whole thing and, and do what I normally do. Okay, I know this is upside down, but I wanted to show you. I just added a few little clouds. I don't know what what more I'll do to the sky. Um, I had to call Jill and see if she was okay with me um, painting over <laughs> some, some beautiful passages because uh, I was freaking out a bit, as you guys heard in my last video. Um, and she said, yeah, just be free. And I think what we might do now is once I take this painting back with me to uh, Maryland. Um, I think we're gonna look at the painting in her studio and then she can make a decision what she wants to add to it, um, especially if I've taken out a lot more of her of her voice in this painting. So there you go, some little clouds. I might do a little bit more, um, but yeah. Okay, this is where I'm leaving off today. I've added some lights on these uh, trees, indicated some tree trunks. I've softened this road, uh, all three of the, the ends of these roads that were coming off the edge of the painting. I just felt like they were drawing the eye down there too much. And like I showed you earlier, I've added these um, clouds along the horizon. And I think this is where I'm going to leave off today.
here's what I worked on uh, in this session. I lightened up the clouds a bit more. They dried a little dark. Uh, we'll see if that lightness holds. It's a fine line between going too strong and, and uh, not enough. Um, I also, in the bottom of the painting, everything that I did last week sort of dried and the texture got lost down there. So I added, you can see I added a lot more thick paint down in the bottom. A lot more texture and even hit it with a little bit more color as well. A little like a half of a value step lighter than what was there before. Um, but definitely more texture too. And some more texture back in the background as well. I know it's a little hard to see, uh, but I brought this outside, so hopefully you can see the color more accurately. And there we go. I'll look at it again uh, with fresh eyes in a little bit. Hi everyone, it's it's Jill in Maryland. I just received uh, the shipment of Kim's and my shared painting. So I'm about ready to open it and I thought that it might be uh, great to share this with you. So here it goes. All right. Ah, I see a little bit of the outline of it. And here we go. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, it is magnificent, Kim. I absolutely love what you've done. She, wow, she has some thick paint going on. Hard to see because of the reflection here, but I'm gonna pull this down. Maybe that will help. Just look at that. Gorgeous. And that distance and all the illumination with the lights in the distance. Just beautiful, Kim. You know, she's given me the option to work on it one last time and um, I'm gonna look at it, but I dare do anything to this. It's really pretty. I really love it. I'll keep you posted. Hi everyone, this is Jill in Maryland. I just wanted to give you one last look at our Kim's and my shared painting. It was a lot of fun, Kim. I enjoyed doing this with you and this is the end result. Um, the only thing I really did uh, for one last go at it was add a couple more clouds in the upper right hand corner. Um, I think that that balanced out um, the design of the painting. Texture is lovely that Kim added and um, the only other thing I did was add a little speck to the Lincoln Memorial there which I find to be the focal point with the Washington Monument and the Capitol as secondary players. So it was a great project, so much fun, and uh, I look forward to working again with you, Kim. It's weird, so thank you for being here. If you don't know about this project, sorry, I didn't take breath. <laughs> if you don't know about this project, Jill and I have worked on this painting together, even though we're on opposite sides of the country. Um, Jill was kind enough to take the first part, and then wait for it to dry. Though. It was the easy part. <laughs> no, you say, no. So she took the first part, waited for it to dry, sent it to me in California. I unboxed it, worked on it some more, freaked out, and called Jill and said, I'm covering up all your stuff. You're going to have to redo it, you know? And she's like, no, just, just go ahead. So I did what I did and I waited for that to dry and I took it back to her to the East Coast here in Maryland. Well, we're in Virginia, but you're in Maryland. And I, and I received it. I op immediately opened that box and so thrilled to see what, what Kim had done. Don't make me cry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it really was moving though. To, to, you know, FedEx arrived and opened it 
up and lifted up that box, and um, I it just it, you gave me goosebumps with what you did to it. Well, you set me up for success. Give me a great start. So really, you know, I she said do do something else to it, and and I really did not want to do much of anything to it. I just you know me, I'm a cloud girl. <laughs> I just added a, a touch, a bit more cloud. And, and drop the brush, and uh, and here it is. So uh, we, we thank you for being here. We hope you enjoy the work. Hope you enjoy this. It's, it's been two years in the making. So thank you, guys. Yes, thank you. This is our joint painting that we worked on together on opposite sides of the room. <laughs> Sign on one corner and okay. the other side on the other. And I'm going to sign sign on the quiet corner. Okay. <laughs> All right. And I hope you guys will come up and take a look. There's a lot of texture in this that, if you followed us online, it doesn't really translate on the internet. So, as you can see with the rest of the work, like texture just never, it just never comes through. So you have to see work in person. You know, and. Heck, we gotta get out of the house, right? Right. Can you do something? Okay, hold on. I don't have my glasses, sorry you guys. <laughs> Watch, I misspell my name. I did that once. It was very, <laughs> it was ridiculous. You have a long name, Cam. I do. <laughs> I, have, I have almost every letter. And what? No. Four capitals. I do. Wow. No, it's been an absolutely an honor to share. It's, it's, you know, I wanted to give her a hug. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.